Yeah, hello, welcome back to Coffee Crypto YouTube channel, your number one crypto news and marketing agency. In today's video tutorial, we are going to be talking about how you can use the Trust Wallet Chrome extension. How you can use the Trust Wallet Chrome extension for your web related services, right? Yeah, so let's jump in right into it. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, do all well to hit the subscribe button. My name is Okaf Mary Cynthia. So let's get started. So on my browser, I'm going to type in Trust Wallet browser extension. So you are going to see this is a new feature. It was, um, you can see that publications are still ongoing about it your multi-chain crypto wallet now available in your browser also going down you can see that um google just added this wallet on i think five days ago i don't know okay yeah six days ago it was yesterday i searched for it and i saw five days ago six days ago on the google chrome extension services right so when we click on it you are going to see add extension, but then I'm, I've already added it. So let me just click on remove anyways. Just let me click on remove so you can see how it looks like, right? So you click on add, but before then, wait, let me cancel. Before then, you can see that this um, Trust Toilet extension just six days ago it already have 30,000 users. This is going to be massive. In fact, I think... Um, metamark should be in serious competition right now right so we just going to click on add extension and um, after some minutes you can see it's downloading it's going to ask us to activate the the extension so guys um you know it's not just enough to add trust toilet to your extension please i beg of you if you are adding trust toilet to your chrome extension make sure you create a new um trust toilet right make sure you create a new trust toilet because man <laughs> I, I think this is going to be this is going to bring a whole lot of spamming related stuff in this space right they are going to be attacking your system if you are not so careful because People are hungry and just like you know, um crypto devs are part of the people who you know have the highest technical hacking skill in the whole world. I'm telling you, that is why they can easily break into an exchange and loot all the money in it, right? Yeah, so you can see this is the trust toilet chrome extension, almost the same thing with the phone, right? So you are going to see create new wallet, import or recover phrase. So depending on the one you want to do, let's say you want to create a new wallet, you, cl you click here and it's going to tell you that you should improve your trust wallet, help trust wallets by sharing these patterns with us, relevant, anonymous and um, optional, right? No tense, you don't want to do that. So you are going to first um, put your password right. Um, let me see. Okay, so yeah, you have to use capital letters, small letters, a number just to make sure your account is, is strong. So make sure your account is strong. In fact, if you are um, migrating to the Trust Toilet extension immediately, I believe you by now you should know how to even uh, use Trust Toilet before now. So it's going to ask you to back up your secret phrase. And at this point, I'm going to pause this video to do this stage. So all you just need to do at this stage right now is to write down the secret phrase that is going to come up on your system and don't share with anybody keep in a secure place so that only you will have access to it so i'm going to pause this video right now to do that and get back so um you can see that i'm done so what i just did right now is that i copied out my secret phrase and after copying it out they will ask you to re-enter it's just a normal conventional way you use in opening your normal trust toilet on your phone right so they said 
click at the top right of your browser and pin your browser okay this is this place right you can pin it so i'm done i said trust toilet as default wallet you know trust toilet cz love competition so they are telling you you know in other words they are telling you to eliminate metamax and use trust toilet as your default browser right so that is what they did here but then i'm not going to uh, enable this i would want to be choosing the one i want to use right yeah so that is it i click on open wallet click on open wallet and it's going to take me to my trust wallet interface and you can see how to access the apps with trust wallet with trust wallet you have three easy ways to access the apps choose one of these when it's time to connect the trust wallet icon the wallet connect icon the inject or browser wallet icon got it manage all your tokens easily i'm ready to use trust wallet click on it so you can see this is it i just created this account so i have i have nothing in here right so you can see and this is your settings this is your settings right yeah so you can set you can click some of these tokens to let's say you want to add a new or you want to change your language right you can come here choose the language that you want if your language is not english right and also let's say that you want probably you when you created this account you forgot the, the key phrase probably you copied it and pasted it on your system and you forgot where you kept it you can come here enter the password you used in creating it after entering the password you used in creating it it's going to show you you click on review then it's going to show you let's say i enter my password i'm not going to click it it's going to show you when you click on review it's going to show you those key phrases and you copy it out and still keep your trust toilet save right so that is it and also probably if you have any issue you can click to their support to to see what they have also you can lock your wallet right you can lock your wallet a whole lot of other things you can see that it's still the same thing with the conventional wallet right you can also click on history if you have any history but you can see that i don't have any history here right now and just the same way if you want to add new tokens you can see that i just have a very little amount of tokens here right just i think five of them so let's say i don't have btc here right now so let's say i want to enable uh, i want to turn on the btc uh, network i'm going to just come here type btc sorry bitcoin let me use bitcoin Okay, let's um, turn on the, so you can see that it's already showing us the Ethereum network BTC, right? Now, depending on any coin at all, or let's say the um, coin you want to put in here is a coin that the name is not yet showing up on a on, on Trust Wallet. All you have to do is, if it's a new coin, probably you have to go to Coin Market Cap go to coin market cap and copy the coins address let's say that um let's say that i want to copy let's say solana address to so search for it on on um on our trust wallet right you come here scroll down go to their their blockchain you locate their address you locate their address and copy it to um your trust toilet and paste it here i can't really um remember the whole process again though okay but then i believe you know how to do that right so uh, that is it you copy it put it here paste the address here and it's going to bring up the, co the project and you uh, turn it on and so let's say you want to send and receive so if you click on send it's going to show you um the list of projects or you can as well type for it uh, let's say we want to send bnb right now right so you put the address you put the amount right 
um, let's say we put one BNB, but then you can say we don't have anything on our wallet, it's just the same normal we put the address, put the amount, click on send, right? And also, if you want to, let's say you want to receive, you want to receive, you click here, you, you click the project, then you copy your address, right? You copy your address, and also don't forget some of these projects. Anyone you are copying, always make sure that you tell the person the network you copied, right? Always make sure you tell the person the network you copied. And also, let's take for instance now that maybe you want to connect it to a website. Let me say Fluid Finance. Fluid Finance. Um, let me see, I want to connect it to Fluid Finance, right? Okay, I'll have to log in and I don't think I want to do that here right now. Okay, so that is it. If you are already using Trust Toilet before now, use the apps, you would also understand the whole process of what is here right so that is it thank you very much for for watching see you on my next video bye